Hello everyone, my name is Zhang Zhou. Today I want to talk about Emoji Tactor, exploring how designers approach emotional robotic touch. This work is a collaboration with Harper Serin, Yufei Zhang, and Daniel Latinder at Atlas Institute, University of Colorado Boulder, and Parsons School of Design. In this work, we bring designers into the exploration of emotional robotic touch, discuss their design decisions, and reflect on their insights. Prior psychology findings indicate that humans can convey distinct emotions to one another solely through touch by performing a variety of effective gestures. We hypothesis that similar effects might also be applicable to robotic touch. That's we posted two design questions. Can we develop a robotic touch platform that enables designers to program emotional haptic cues easily? What decisions, strategies, and behaviors do designers employ when designing emotional robotic touch? Starting with designing servo-driven tactors to replicate different social gestures, we built a testing device that installed all the tactors in a cardboard structure. By using the testing device, predefined emotional cues were verified to be decodable in our previous study. We finally designed a robotic tactor interface through several iterations together with a software-based design tool. In an illustration study, a group of designers were invited to define the sensations for eight specific emotions with our platform. We collected the quantitative and qualitative results. Our findings uncovered that the uniqueness and otherness of robotic touch broadened the possibilities of tactile communication and emotional design. Let's start with our design journey. How can we recreate effective gestures with robotic touch? We first designed four types of tactors driven by microservos to replicate social gestures, shake, push, hit, pat, and squeeze that were found to be associated with interpersonal emotional communication. For fast prototyping, we used cardboard to make a testing device. Our device was designed for the forearm area since it is sensitive to effective touch and appropriate in social relationships. By using the device, we previously conducted a decoding study with the results that 20 participants were able to decode five specific emotions with the predefined emotional haptic patterns at above chance level. For rapid iteration, we prototyped with Lego to test the potential form and scale for a more accessible, robust, and portable design. After a series of iterations, we designed an integrated robotic interface. It assembles all the tactors on a small scale base, which fits the length of the average forearm. The tactile interface is handmade with space wood since it is skin friendly, lightweight, and easy to fabricate. So how will the robot touch human? Here are some demos to show the tactor's function. Shake tactor. Push from the side. Pat. Or hit. To provide more flexibility with the touch design, we split the squeeze tactor with two extra modes. Tap from the external side internal side. To let designers easily generate the touch stimulation with our robotic interface, we developed a graphic user interface to control and modify the tactile behaviors. To specifically control the tactile movement for creating emotional tactile cues, we have also defined a set of variables. With the platform, we finally can start to explore how designers approach emotional robotic touch. We conducted an elastician study. 11 interaction designers who had no experience in haptic design were invited. They were asked to program robotic touch sensations that enable the robot to express emotions to a person. They tested these tactile cues on their own forearm. We studied eight emotions that were found to be decodable in interpersonal touch, which include anger, 
discussed fear, sadness, happiness, gratitude, love, and sympathy. To explore how textures may affect the perception of touch, we made three alternative skins in addition to base wood with different materials that were commonly used in making effective robots, which include silicone, plastic, and thick fur. The illustration study started with a short preparation, followed with eight sections of touch pattern design with different emotions in a random order. After generating each emotion, the designers needed to fill out questionnaires with self-reported ratings on their confidence levels of the touch they generated. In the end, they would receive an interview for their design experiences. Here is a demo for the illustration study. We collected the ratings of clarity and confidence levels for each emotion. Based on the study results, we discovered common patterns for the design decisions of gesture, texture, and parameter settings for different emotions. From our observation and interview, we gathered multiple behaviors from participants. Designers usually explore all the textures in textures for the first one or two emotions to get familiar with the system. For the following emotions, they show various strategies. Pick the one with the most commonly employed strategy. Many designers could have a general assumptions about the touch and determine one or two textures that may perform the touch behavior they supposed. Other strategies include keeping cycling through all textures and exploring one by one or starting with self-touch and replicating the sensation with robot touch. In the study, we did not mention any predefined gestures for tactors or gave any specific scenarios. The open context in our study allowed designers to employ a variety of metaphors based on their intuitive decisions. Some designers replicated interpersonal interactions according to their imaginations and memories. Animal metaphor was also mentioned and was usually connected to the fake fur texture. Interestingly, some participants associated the emotions with inanimate metaphors and tried to mimic the behavior of an object or an abstract feeling that the metaphor represented. As for love, some designers used gentle shaking. They said it felt like a warm cradle. Pertaining to the high confidence ratings in the study, we found the intuitive reactions of the designers also indicate their interpretation of the emotional message in the touch. Some felt frustrated when being pushed away by the tactor when the robot was expressing disgust. Four of the participants pat the robot back to comfort it when it was expressing fear. For sensations designed to express love and sympathy, participants put their arms on the device and close their eyes to enjoy the gentle touching, smelling. Here are the main reflections in our work. Although human perception of touch is sensitive to individual differences, patterns indeed exist in the emotional robotic touch design. Uniqueness of touch experience and machine-like appearance of the robot help it keep the otherness. Metaphors invoked by robotic touch could exist the dominant anthropomorphic and zoomorphic paradigms caused by its otherness. By utilizing the otherness of emotional robotic touch and its association with various metaphors, we have the possibility to tactilize and emotionalize information that is not usually communicated through touch. Thank you for watching our presentation and feel free to reach out with any questions you may have.